Wikipedia is one of the top 10 most popular sites on the internet. It was founded in 2001 with the aim of giving everybody access to the sum of all knowledge and it now has over 50 million articles in over 300 languages. However, as the website, editor community and number of local charities which support the Wikimedia movement has grown, it has become clear that there are big gaps in the knowledge that Wikipedia contains. Whilst there are around 6 million articles on the English Wikipedia, Many other language communities are struggling to expand their content due to a lack of editors. There is also a big gender gap. Only 18% of biographical articles on the English Wikipedia are about women, and it is estimated that only around 16% of Wikipedia editors are female. I'm Lucy Crompton-Reed, and I'm the Chief Executive of Wikimedia UK, which is the national chapter for the global Wikimedia open knowledge movement. I joined Wikimedia in 2015, which coincided with the Wikimedia community starting to take the problem of gender inequality more seriously, with the launch of new initiatives such as Art and Feminism and Women in Red. Towards the end of 2015, Wikimedia UK launched our own strategy for the period 2016 to 2019. And at the heart of that strategy was the very bold ambition to eradicate inequality and bias on the Wikimedia projects. One of our strategic aims for that period was therefore to increase the coverage of underrepresented subjects on Wikipedia and to diversify its content and contributors. At Wikimedia UK, we are proud of the fact that half of our leading volunteers are women and that volunteer contributors and partner organisations that we've worked with have helped to increase the percentage of biographies about women on the English Wikipedia from 14 to 18%. There is still so much more work to be done. We hope that this video will explain a little bit about what our charity and the individuals, communities and organisations that we work with have done over the last few years towards closing the gender gap and also to encourage others, like you, to get involved. I'm Alice White and I am a digital content editor at Welcome Collection and I'm also their Wikimedian in residence. I think the main thing that's changed in the time that I've been doing this role is how many people <laughs> are approaching us to do things and I started out speaking to people and inviting them to participate and now people are hearing about this wiki stuff and thinking that sounds amazing I want to do that and approaching me. My name is Jess and I'm a physicist at Imperial College London. Alice taught me not only about how to edit Wikipedia but also about the horrific gender imbalance on the website and I for a few months just thought hey this is kind of cool I'll talk about it a bit and then realized kind of over Christmas and New Year at the beginning of 2018 that actually to change things properly I'd have to really invest some time into it so I decided I'd make one page about a woman scientist or engineer every day. People want to see how they can make a positive change so it's all very well to run an event that's starts out very very doom and gloom and here is this huge problem and it's insurmountable but what has the most successful outcome in terms of motivating people and getting them editing is I think the way that we communicate that Wikipedia is a collaborative volunteer-led project and you can do something about that and talking to them about the progress that's being made and the opportunities for them to make a contribution big or small whatever they have time for and I think inspiring people with what they can do rather than making them feel sad about how things are um, seems to have worked really really well for us and then someone from the Guardian wrote an article about it in the summer actually a physicist who used to be at Imperial called Hannah Devlin wrote an article about it in the summer and after that now it's gone pretty crazy and I feel like a lot more people are reading the pages that I create and also making their own pages and I feel a bit of a responsibility to make my pages better and better and better now. So yeah, it has definitely snowballed in recent months. It started a discussion about how we celebrate and recognise the women scientists and engineers who are already working in science. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges we have. It's not just all about the inspiration. It's not just about putting role models there for young kids to see. It's also about recognising there are so many phenomenal women, people from underrepresented groups, working to better understand and protect our planet and we don't recognize and celebrate them enough and if we don't we'll just lose them and we need to do a better job in science of saying you are incredible and we need to keep you here and maybe one tiny little way we can do that is making sure that all these really phenomenal people have wikipedia pages
totally fine to me that most average community members have no idea that the foundation exists, and it, I think that's okay. The question is, what can we do as the foundation to um, ensure that that community becomes more representative or more inclusive or what have you, without necessarily needing to get to the level of the person who's adding a citation at the end of a sentence? We actually started talking about equity as a major value of ours. And I think that what's interesting, and it sort of speaks to Ryan's point, is that we can media, for us, the vision statement is a world in which every single human can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. So that implied equity as a value is in there. It's a world-changing vision. It says nothing about an encyclopedia. But, you know, and I think that we were quite radical when we started in, in, in some sense and embraced that radicalness. And then we got comfortable. And now I think we have to be radical again um, if we're going to get anywhere near what that sort of in, that call is for us to achieve. Every month, the Wiki Project Women in Red issue new lists of, uh, of names for every country across the world, um, and editors spend their time actually trying to fill that gap. My name's Roger, Roger Bamkin. Um, I became involved with Wikipedia. My children were editing it and they went, this would be interesting. At the time, Wikimedia had this idea that um, if only they could, if they, if they could only uh, increase the number of women on Wikipedia, then that would fix the problem. Because they saw the fact that there was nine out of 10 editors were um, men as the problem. So in the 2015, there was a uh, Wikimania conference in Mexico, uh, and I wrote a proposal to say we ought to establish a project that would get not just women, but people of all genders to solve this problem and try and have an equal number of men and women on Wikipedia. Fortunately, um, a good friend of mine now, a lady called um, Rosie Stepp, came forward and said she would be a joint founder with us of the project. Um, and that was how the proposal was given in Mexico. And after that, we thought we'd have 15 minutes of frame. We thought it'd be a, an Andy Warhol moment and that'd be the end of it. But it gathered an awful lot of people. Wikidata was suddenly the key to it because suddenly we could measure things like gender. Um, and since then we've gone to, we believe there's been about 82,000 articles created. Um, we are working in 22 different languages. Um, the editing seems to go on 24 hours a day. It's just stunning. So Wikipedia is a great way of making people visible online um, and, and easily findable to other people who might like to then do more research and find out more about them and amplify those stories. Um, so I had one person come along to a Wikifound that we ran and uh, she said she really wanted to create a page for this particular woman, woman engineer who was fascinating. Um, she had a really interesting and varied career, but there weren't very many accessible pieces of information about her. Um, all of these fascinating details were buried in publications that weren't really available online. So uh, this woman who came along to one of my, my editing sessions created a page for her inspirational woman engineer who she thought needed better recognition. And um, after creating this Wikipedia page, she approached a, uh, a radio show and pitched a segment about this woman and how fascinating she was. And that shows researchers were then able to very easily and quickly find information about this woman. Um, and I can't definitely say for certain that the Wikipedia page is the reason why the show did actually get commissioned, but I think it, you know, the woman herself said to me, I know researchers and I know how time pressed they are when they're involved in making these kinds of shows. And it definitely helps to make the stories as easy for them to find and pursue as possible. I'm Dr. Ying Leah Lee. Everyone calls me Leah. I'm a physicist at University College London, and what my work is is optomechanics. The way that I became more involved on Wikipedia is uh, through Dr. Jess Wade. She's a researcher at Imperial College. I started running the UCL Women in Physics group, and I've been trying really hard to get more and more speakers to come and, and do talks because I think 
um, it's quite nice to kind of step out from your own problems or um, your own situation. I got in touch with Jess because I really wanted her to come and, and talk about everything she's doing. And she said, oh, yeah, sure, but why don't you come to Imperial for this wikithon that we're doing and then we can talk about it there. And I kind of thought, OK, that's interesting. I was a bit scared because I had never actually edited anything on Wikipedia before then. Um, but she said that her and Alice White from the Wellcome Trust, they were going to do all the training. There's nothing to be afraid of. I kind of came out of that with a whole new impression of what you can do with Wikipedia to make a difference. And instead of trying to get individuals to come and talk to you know, 20 or so people at UCL, with Wikipedia, when you make um, a biography about a really prominent female scientist, you're impacting them, but you're also contributing to like the historical record of kind of science for like the whole world. And so that was really empowering because I couldn't have thought of anything else I could do here that would have that much of an impact outside of Justice University. Wikipedia has gaps. We know that Wikipedia has gaps. We have structural bias in society, so we end up with structural bias on Wikipedia. And one of the things that we do at Wikimedia UK is to try and encourage people to fill those gaps. One of the uh, strategic objectives um, of Wikimedia UK is to address underrepresented content on, on the encyclopedia. So one of the things that we do in Scotland, part of what I do as Scotland Programme Coordinator, um, is to try and encourage our partners to do work in that particular area. So we've worked with, uh, in our uh, project, with the Scottish Libraries and Information Council. Uh, we held an editathon on the Isle of Skye about uh, women of Skye, and that's about finding where those sources are, bringing people together and getting them, encouraging them to edit um, about those topics and cr to create those articles. So my name is Siobhan O'Connor. I'm a researcher based at the University of Edinburgh. Um, I got involved with Wikipedia about two years ago. Um, there was an event running, an editathon running at the university um, where they were trying to get more uh, nurses up on Wikipedia. So I saw that advertised, and because I'm a nurse, <laughs> a nursing researcher, I was really keen to go along and, and learn about how to create Wikipedia articles and to understand a bit more about, I suppose, the gender imbalance on Wikipedia in terms of the information that's on there. And I can thank her for her contributions. As you say, we can't fix history. History is, is fixed. Battle of Waterloo was 99% blokes. But since we've had the project, we found out that there were women. There were women working, um, waiting in the nearby town, writing books, writing articles. We can write about those. When I was working in engineering, we used to say that a project was something that's defined with an end. Um, and certainly Wikipedia itself and the Women in Red project doesn't seem to have that defined end. We need more editors. We need more editors. We need people with a wide variety of interests. I want students to edit. I want uh, professors to edit. I want um, school kids to edit. I want everybody to edit. <laughs> I think if you have an interest in anything, Wikipedia has a niche for you. Um, and I want more people with a wider variety of interests to get involved and get editing. Uh, I'm Robin Lewine. I'm manager of Wales for Wikimedia UK. The content of the Welsh Wikipedia is excellent. We reached parity around two years ago, an equilibrium where, in fact, there are more articles in Welsh on females than there are on males. So that's a big plus. We were the first, I think, worldwide to reach that parity of gender. Every time we have an editathon, we train people. Um, we try to get that parity in the in the learners as well. We came on, for example, uh, have more female editors than male editors in the Welsh Baccalaureate. They are doing the, um, the community challenge. Arafwyrson Saesneg o Wikipedia, mae'n afwyr thyglau amdanion, gynlynion, a dyna pam dyna ni'n trio cael y gap ddi gwir arafwyrson Cymraeg. Pam na siin y prosiect yma i bach 4.5 mis nôl sydd ychrar o'n, um, oedd yr 4.5 perthygol o'n i wedi sgwennu i gyd am dan dynion, oherwydd do'n i ddim ar yr adeg yn sylweddoli y gwthiad i tre gael um, mwy ar thyglau allan i amferched, um, ac ers really dod i wybod am hyn, rwy'n os dwi'n Meddwl am os nes gwenu erthygol am dyn neu ferch er enghraifft dwi'n hollol sicr mae fos ni'n um, sgwenu na march i tre gael mwy o erthygol am ferched a rydw mewn peth really positif ag yn peth really da hefyd bod na mwy, mwy o merched rwy'n mwy ar Wikipedia, so mae'n peth da iawn, dwi'n meddwl. Mae yna fwy o erthyglau am ddyniwod 
ar y Fyrysiwn Cymraeg o Wikipedia a dan i reit falch o hynny. Oedd dosbarth ni efo Wikimon, oedd na fwy o ferched na gof na o hogia. Yn y dosbarth, dydy hynna ddim yn digwydd llawer efo pethau fel technol gwybodaeth. Swn i'n chydiol chi Wikimon ag i Wikipedia am rhoed yr ffocws yna. Bod merched o dynion yn cofod yn hafol gym yno, a bod yna ddim bias sy'n ffordd na'r llall, mae wedi bod yn gyfle neis yn ddyneu. We underestimate people's enthusiasm a lot of the time and, and generosity in sharing their expertise and sharing their skills and supporting other people. I found by and large the Wiki community to be really passionate and really supportive. I've never had any problem getting people to sign up to come along to events or getting people engaged with editing, generally because it's the kind of activity that doesn't require you to be a master of extrovert. You can feel comfortable and you can learn how to edit Wikipedia and you can genuinely contribute to a website that will be seen by millions of millions of people every day. They're better protecting our historic legacy, right? In, in years to come, textbooks will be out of date. People will turn to this for their source of information and we therefore have a responsibility to to make sure that that's as impartial as it can be. You know, you can make one article and that's fantastic, but as we know, there is something like 17% of biographies are about women, and so there is always something more that can be done. But I just find it really, like, it makes me happy. It's really strange. It's kind of like a stress ball because you're like, you're writing, but it's nothing that's gonna, like, change your career. You're writing words which are about someone else. You're kind of, honouring someone who's done something amazing. There's so much negativity around being a female in STEM and the career progression and the kind of attitudes and the culture um, that I spend so much time talking about those things with people that it's just nice to shut that off and just focus on something which I know is going to like make a little impact but it's completely positive. Only 55% of people on the planet have access to the internet. As this percentage increases, we need to make sure that Wikipedia represents everyone and doesn't amplify existing bias and inequality. This is not just about improving the gender diversity of Wikipedia, but also linguistic, geographic and ethnic diversity. Wikipedia is run by a network of charities like ours, Wikimedia UK, and we can't do this work in isolation from the rest of society. Sexism on Wikipedia and the wider internet represents a structural problem which we all have an obligation to help solve. If Wikipedia editors are going to write about more women, we need the rest of the media to write about them and provide sources that we can use. We need to see women promoted to positions of power and responsibility. We need to change the very structures of power which silence women and keep them off the pages of history. We're working hard to change these structures of power in our digital spaces, but we need your support to make this change happen faster. Come to our events at Wikimedia UK, organise your own events, teach women's history, write women's history, promote women writers and give women a platform to share their stories. Together we can help fix these problems. Join us.